Hi everybody, Cynthia Maddie here. Happy New Year to some of you I have not interacted with. Um, I just quickly want to drop my two cents regarding um, the uproar in the comment section, um, which um, talked about the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God being denied a visa. And um, <laughs> so, uh, there's something that we need to know and understand and then appreciate as Nigerians, honestly, because we have to really have these conversations with ourselves. We have to tell ourselves the truth. Um, to the normal Nigerian, for a general overseer of a mega church to be denied um a visitor's visa to the United States is such a huge deal. Matter of fact, it is. How dare they? Don't they know he's a daddy G.O.? He's the child of God. Touch not my anointed. That's one of the craps that I saw in the comment section. I don't know, all of that, all of that. So they just feel that because he's a man of God and revered in Nigeria, um, the United States Embassy in Nigeria should automatically give him visa. No, no, boo boo. It doesn't work like that. The reason why we think that way is because we happen to have yet to decipher between what's wrong and what's right, holding our government accountable. Because we just just happen to operate a system where the abnormal has become normal. And so it's a society where the average man is beat down and someone who is in a position of power is supposed to bypass the system so here i hate to be the one to break it down to you people but i'm sorry just because anything goes in nigeria does not mean that anything goes everywhere else in the world when i say that abnormal things have become normal in nigeria trust and believe that's the case but when I see people really exhibiting, like exhibiting their illiteracy in the comment section, it just has me riled up, sort of. So here is the thing. The United States of America just happens to be a country where regardless of who you are, you are accountable. That is why you see that the citizens in the U.S., which is like next to heaven by the Nigerian standard, the president of the United States of America is being called out on a daily basis by people, by people who hate him and people who claim not to hate him, people who thinks he's doing good and people who thinks he's the worst president ever in a world history, okay? The fact remains that there's freedom of speech in this part of the world where people are open to express and because he's um because of the the position that he occupies it's it, he he just naturally is the president or considered the president of the world but that's not to say that if he does certain things that that go against um what the constitution says he will not be called out or held accountable that's something we africans especially nigerians don't know the first thing about is accountability it's the same mentality where a minister or a governor in nigeria we have an entourage when he's traveling an entourage of up to 50 people escorting one person to the airport the same person that once he goes through his boarding gates carries the same bags that 50 people were escorting him with once he crosses that boarding gate he's just any other person i hate to be the one to break it down to you people but the fact remains whether you are the go you are the president of nigeria you are the minister you are the governor or you're just the average nigerian the decision to issue a visa is solely dependent on the discretion of the visa issuing officer at that time. I remember many years ago when I went to the U.S. Embassy to apply for my very first visa, I had seen this guy come in in his regalia. When I mean regalia, I mean he he was dressed no, like a pope, nonetheless, with his with like every. Like he came full on. He was geared up, up to the the long, man. So he was expecting to get 
a visa, right? By virtue of the fact that he was wearing his garment, his Christian garment. Guess what? They denied him a visa in 2.3 seconds and were giving people who turned out like normal. Because to begin with, you see these people where they give visa, they don't, they don't think like you and I do. Okay? First of all, you go to the embassy all dressed up and everything. They think you have something to prove. Yeah. Because, I mean, uh, Nigerians see it. At the end of the day, make we not talk too much. Whether you're a daddy G.O., whether you are a daddy, daddy whatever. Okay? It is up to the discretion of the visa issuing officer to give whoever. I don't care if you are the most important person in the world in your head but they just they don't you see the idiosyncrasies that we we swim in they don't do all of that bs over here nobody cares they call out their president they call out they hold their their uh, governors accountable they hold their mayors accountable just because nigeria is a place where people do and undo does not mean that such craziness transfers to other parts of the world and so we exhibit our lack of knowledge on social media crying foul crying out loud about oh why would they did i someone even at some point i think i made a comment and someone said oh even if your age mates um being an age mate is not the same thing as being a grace mate shut the, shut up okay shut up those are the things that Pastors put in your head to ensure that you are the most loyal and stupid person that keeps coming to church on Sunday. Because the truth of the matter is, the minute you leave Nigeria and go other places in the world where things actually work, your prayer points could change. Fact. In Nigeria, people pray, they fast to have lights. That's something that God naturally puts in the minds and brains of human beings that are supposed to supply it. Getting a visa in, in Nigeria is something we go to church to do testimony over. It's, it's normal in other parts of the world. So let's just stop. The only thing we can do, and I've been saying it for years, is that we can begin to hold our government accountable. If we start holding these people accountable, trust and believe that we will bring about a change. Unfortunately, Nigerians are waiting for one person of which we are not even, there's no guarantee that we will rally around the person. Look at Shawara, for example. Shawara was wrongfully incarcerated by the federal government of Nigeria. And most Nigerians were more bothered about Tacha and uh, what's the other one? Mercy fighting in the Big Brother house. Is that a country you want to? And that's one of the reasons why I took a break from vlogging. Because I'm like, you see this bunch of people? Like, they're not even ready. Because when, when Nigerians are ready, Nigerians really wants to bring about their own change. Trust and believe that. So if we start holding our government accountable, they will begin to act right. And when they begin to act right, then other uh, countries in the world that have blacklisted Nigerians, that have put them in, in several negative uh, lists, that have added them to the list of people who cannot do this, cannot come in here, cannot file for this, cannot file for that, the treatment that we get, it would just naturally fizzle away if Nigerian government will act right and treat its citizens right. But the honest rests on us citizens, we Nigerians, to demand what is right from our very young government. The same people we put in office to serve us, who somehow the mentality has been flipped to the point where we think we are supposed to serve them. So, mm -mm. we have a long way to go. I tell you that for free.